Okay, we'll be using a tough box. You can buy this uh, at Home Depot or at, uh, I believe, uh, Costco has them as well. And the way that I'm laying this out, you can put 17 in them. They got little squares in here. It's kind of cool. All right. Make sure these are a uh, two inch net pot that I'm using and I'm using a two inch hole saw so it's right a good smooth fit and it's really easy here I'll show you how you do this right here or how I'm doing it with this right here and you, as you push it down into it it'll grab so you got to be real careful Really light handed with it. It can grab, so just be careful. Makes If you go real slow with it, it makes it nice and smooth. If you need to uh, shave anything off, just do a, use a sharp knife. But the pot fits in really nice and snug. And it will fit in there. And this is what we're going to be putting in our kale into. Um, it's really slick, and we'll just do this with all of them all the way through. And you can put it on pause for here. Okay. Okay, this is the greenhouse that I'll be getting uh, the different uh, starts from. It has, it's been, oh, uh, 20, 25 below zero out here. And I've kind of been protecting these things because I want to do this experiment, see how well I can uh, start something like this that's already wilted and been damaged from all the cold. I'll throw it into these uh, into this hydroponics, and we're going to see how well it, it transplants and, and grows with the hydroponic system that I'll be putting in. Okay, let's take for example, oh, let's take a. Oh, uh, this is a good one right here. And I'll be taking this one right here, and I'll dig down in. Where's my shovel? Little mini shovel here. And we'll just dig down into it. We'll get a bunch of the roots. It's amazing how well these transplant into the grow boxes inside. And they just take off inside. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to grow. I'm trying to do this at the same time as show you. Okay, this is the end result. We've had them, shoot, it's uh, the end of February, last day, and I think it's the tw is it 28th? 28th of February. Anyway, uh, so it's been, uh, we've had these plants in here. Granted, I grabbed these plants when they were... Uh, from our outside greenhouse, all of the plants were pretty much dead, barely alive. I put them in here. They did come back to life. You know, they barely were able to, uh, um, they had a little bit of a root in them, and I dropped them into the water. So, but they started to show up nice and green, and uh, n not real fast growth, but okay. But you can see what happened here when we, uh, when we grow these in, the solution of compost tea, which right here, this would be your compost tea. Uh, that comes from the grow boxes that we've got here. We got our compost tea. So, and it's what all of these plants are growing in right here. I mean, they're doing real well in here, all of our grow boxes. Uh, with kales and collards and... and uh, and such in here but if we if we come back down over here and look at this you can see that it lost its color and it's lacking nutrients and it worked okay at first but the problem with this compost tea is is that it's compost tea I mean you're gonna you're gonna have to add something to it and I'm not a fan of the of the chemical if someone wants to use chemicals nitrogen and uh, that's pre-mixed uh, chemicals that you add into the water and you do your hydroponics that way great but you know what I used the compost tea which is what my other plants have been using but when it doesn't have dirt 
for it to grab the nutrients from. And as the dirt's breaking down and, and all of the manures inside of it and the compost that's inside of it, it just is not getting the nutrients. And these did, they did okay, but I mean, look how slow, they're not that big. They've been in there for, I don't know, you know, about almost two months now. And that's not very good product productivity and it's not green. And that's why I'm going away from uh, trying to do hydroponics with the uh, uh, compost tea is it just is not an effective way of doing it. Granted I could go and find out what natural things and I could add in fish fertilizers and all of the mess associated with that. I don't want to add in stuff. I want to plant it and I want to let it grow. I want to walk away and do nothing to it except pick leaves on it later. And that's what I do with this other stuff over here. I, I plant it and I just pick and I don't even mess with it there is no there's no weeds there's no it just grows and you just pick it and it's nice and green it's lush has lots of vitamins in it um, again I'd rather throw a pot of dirt with a plant in it and let it just do its thing it's easy I'm not I'm uh, I'm not gonna do any more I'm pulling the pulling the plug on trying to do hydroponics because I'm not going to do something that is a, a chemical based and so and compost yes compost tea you can do that and there's ways that you could do it but it'd be a high maintenance i wondered how it would work if i just poured the whole thing of compost tea in here let me show you under here real quick i mean here is here's your, your white white kale isn't that funny looking just no nutrients um i guess that's what it is See, I mean, you got it's growing its root systems underneath there, and it's. I can see the the liquid in it. It's still a colored, composty liquid down in there, and uh, but it lacks the minerals. It was green at first, but then as it went along, it turned more white. And uh, anyway, thought you might be interested in seeing how that turned out. I know that I could uh, add fish. Uh, fertilizers and stuff like that I did not want to mess with all of it um, I wanted to have something that I could drop in and that should last I would think uh, long enough for it to, to grow one product off of it but anyway there you are you take care God bless